quite green compared to all the others, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, my name is Jeremiah Seraph, and I'm from Groovebug. Uh, we are partnering with record labels, rights holders, and brands to create digital box sets for mobile devices. Uh, the, the product that I'm going to demo tonight is Blue Note by Groovebug. It's for the Blue Note Jazz label. It just launched about five days ago. It's currently uh, uh, featured in the App Store, so it's easy to find. Uh, <coughs> So this app is free to download, and for $1.99 a month, you can subscribe, and uh, you get access uh, to full on-demand streaming for hundreds of hours of music. So the, what you're looking at right here is the homepage. On the left, these are all features. We feature albums, artists, articles, um, and featured playlists. Um, about once a week, these are updated. And on the right-hand side, you see a list of artists, so we'll just dive into Art Blakey. Um, all these are, these are the albums that you can stream. Uh, you can dive into the album for um, album reviews, credits. These are all cross-linked, so if I tap Wayne Shorter, it would take me to Wayne Shorter. Uh, these red indicator bubbles show that there's a discussion going on for this particular track, uh, so you can join the discussion. It's uh, also posted on Facebook. Uh, you can also dedicate songs to your Facebook friends. Uh, you can also share uh, via uh, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, or email. Our backend dynamically creates a song page, so if you share it on Facebook, dedicate a song on Facebook, uh, your friend who doesn't have an iPad can go to the song page, um, preview the song, and also join in on the discussion. Uh, you, can, you can add any of these songs to a playlist. You can add a whole album to a playlist. Your playlists live over here on the left. You can swipe through. Uh, we bring in bios, uh, great session photos from the Francis Wolf photos. We also aggregate videos from YouTube. You can play any of these full screen, send it to your Apple TV. Uh, we also aggregate news. We have our own uh, uh, news crawler that crawls um, hundreds of jazz blogs. You can open up any of these in an app browser. We also went and did a whole bunch of research and found public domain newspapers from the, from the 40s, 50s, and 60s that mentioned the artists. And finally, uh, similar artists, so you can kind of keep exploring your taste down the rabbit hole of music. Taste a little something for a second. Yeah. So as you're playing any of the music, you can also uh, hit the slideshow. And the slideshow will use face recognition technology to zoom in on faces. If you play a playlist, it'll switch the slideshow um, as the different artists are played. And if you have an Apple TV, you can uh, watch the slideshow on your Apple TV and keep navigating through the app. Uh, so some of the uh, some of the featured playlists are put together by um, by Blue Note staffers. We're also uh, getting support from. Uh, some of the artists that are signed to EMI to put together playlists. Um, there's a number of jazz journalists that are putting together articles. Um, oops. And again, all these are cross-linked, so whenever an artist appears, you can tap it and it'll take you to that artist. So, uh, like I said, we're partnering with a lot of different uh, labels and rights holders to create more of these music experiences. Over time, more music will be added, and uh, on a weekly basis, playlists, featured articles, and featured albums will be added. And that is the demo of the app. It didn't take five minutes. Yeah. But you can get lost in it. Yeah. Feel free to let the music run and go ahead and take some questions. Sure. Questions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what was the thinking behind the subscription price? Maybe well, to 
expensive to buy, or they're trying to compete with the box set kind of cost. What was the thinking behind it? Behind the uh, the streaming? Yeah, didn't you say it was like a dollar ninety nine a month or something? Right. Right, right. So yeah, if you were to if you were to take thousands of songs and you know the user owns them, uh, you know, it would be cost prohibitive. And you can buy any of the music in there as well and add it to your collection. It's really a way to get a huge library of music for you know, twenty five dollars a year. Yeah. Are you selling music to We we actually have an app that's out. Uh, you know, I, I had a question for you about iOS six. Okay. The in-app purchase in iOS six. We couldn't figure out a way to use affiliate. I don't think you can. Um, so anyway, uh, we do have another product that we need. Talk to you later. Yeah. How does integration with Spotify? Why do we not have that? No, I thought I just saw the thing that you guys integrated in Spotify. Uh, not on this product. We we have had talks with Spotify. Uh, we have not integrated Spotify. We wanted to create a product where we, you know, we have a reoccurring subscription where we earn revenue rather than someone else. But we have that ability. So if we worked with the rights holder, we could add add that integration, and it could be an in-app purchase to unlock it. When did you launch? How many subscribers do you have, and um, how are you trending? So we launched this about five days ago, um, and it's it's doing really well. We're featured in the UK and the US. That's the only countries that we've launched in. Um, we've the, the conversion rate's been pretty good. It's been around five percent, which is pretty good, and um, and we, we've had. A ton of downloads. I mean, when you're featured in the, on the App Store, you get a ton of downloads. So, you, do you have a subscribers number as of right now? Um, yeah, we're we're approaching a thousand. You get 30 second song previews. You can still, you know, um, look through everything. Uh, you, you only get one photo. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Jeremiah.